It's a beautiful day for remote learning, a beautiful day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a studently day in this beauty wood, a studently day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a student just like you. I've always wanted to teach in a classroom with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my student? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my student? Hi everyone, welcome back to Miss Nichols' Neighborhood. It's me, your teacher, Miss Nichol, and I'm here with my best remote teaching helper, my sister, Kaylee Nichol. Hi. Hi guys. I'm excited because our kindergartners are finishing up with addition and will soon be ready to move on to subtraction. Yay! But before we just yeah. jump into subtraction, I know we're coming back from spring break, so I really want to make sure we review and have it fresh in our head and really make sure we know it, how to do addition, okay? So this will just be um, a lesson that's kind of reviewing addition for us, going through some problems, reminding ourselves, getting some extra practice of how to do addition, okay? Yeah. Okay. Before we just jump into solving the problem, I just want to review. This is a plus sign. When you see this, you say plus. Can we practice that? No. Good. Say plus. Plus. Okay. The plus sign shows us that more is being added together or that more is joining the group, okay? Joining plus adding. And this sign over here is called the equals sign. Can we say equals? Heck Equals, again, equals? Heck Equals. That is how we show in addition or math that something is. So we do our addition problem then we'd use the equal sign to say is, or what it is, or what the problem is, or what the problem equals, by using the equal sign, okay? So I just wanted that fresh in our head as we get ready to do our addition problem up here, okay? This first problem, I'm going to help a lot, and then Kaylee and I, for the other problems will be more and more quiet to give you a chance to solve and review the problems yourselves, okay? Okay, but let's review. Our first problem, just like you're, you've been seeing in your learning packets, it wants to know, this first line, how many is in this first group? Not looking at all of them, all of the bears, but just this first group over here. So let's go ahead and count. Make sure you're following along, trying this at home. Let's count how many bears are in this first group, okay? Ready, set, count with me. One, two. two. Good. How many bears do we have? I, I said two. Two. Very good. So you take your writing tool and write two over here. Now... Is that all the bears I have, or are there more that's joining this group? I have more. There's more. So what sign do I have to use to show that more bears are joining? We're adding more bears. It would be the plus sign. So I'm going to write the plus sign right here to say more bears are joining or being added. Okay? Two plus... Then they want to know how many is in this group over here. How many bears are in this group? Let's go ahead and count to find out, okay? Yeah. Just in this group. Ready, set, count with me. One. What? How many bears are in this group? I say what? One. So I'll take my writing tool and write how there's one bear in that group. Good. So, so far we have 2 plus 1, 
then I need to write a sign here to say 2 plus 1 makes or 2 plus 1 is. What sign should I write there? Would it be the plus sign again or the equal sign? The equal sign, yes. So I'm going to write equals. Good. So I have 2 plus 1 equals. Finally, I need to add up all the pairs, join them together to see how many there are in all to find our answer. So let's go ahead and count up all the pairs to see how many there are in all, okay? Right. Ready? Get ready to count with me. Set, count with me. One, two, three. How many pairs did I have in all? I say three. Three, yes. So you take your writing utensil and write three right here. Awesome. Let's review what we just wrote. We said that two plus one equals three. Yes, we did the addition problem. Yay. Yeah. We wrote how many was in the first group. We wrote the plus sign to signal or show that more was joining the group. We wrote how many was in the second group wrote the equal sign to say, hey, this is what this problem is, and then we wrote our answer over here. Okay? Thank you. Hopefully we're remembering addition. Maybe you're like, oh, I got this, Miss Nickel. I'm a pro at addition. Great job. Just keep practicing with us. Maybe you're like, okay, I kind of forgot, that's okay. We're gonna do a few more problems to keep remembering and practicing our addition review. Give us a few seconds to get ready. Thank you, we are now back ready with our next addition review problem, okay? As you can see, I put the little bear pictures away for a minute and brought back our counters. I really want us to get used to being able to add anything, whether our problems are done with pictures or counters or objects, addition, you can use and, be, and see addition in so many places. So I want us to get used to seeing it in different mediums or different ways, okay? So let's go ahead and let's look at our next problem. Just like our last problem, we're writing and solving our addition number sentence, okay? Let's look here. We need to find out how many's in our first group, okay? Mm -hmm. So you guys ready to count with me and find out how many there are? Yeah. Okay. Ready, set, count with me. One, two, two three, four. four. How many's in this first group? I, I would say four. Four, good. So you would write the number four right here to show that's how many is in the first group. Four. And then is that Thank all you. the counters I have? Or are there more counters? I have more. So what sign would I need to use to show that I'm adding or joining more counters? Is it the plus or equal sign? What sign comes next? Yeah. Good job. If you at home also said plus sign, great job. I really hope you're trying your best to follow along at home. So like Kaylee said, we're going to put our plus sign here saying there's more that's joining. Plus. So we have four plus. And then we need to write how many's in this group over here. Okay. So let's get ready to count how many's in this group here. Ready, set, Count with me. One, two, two three. three. Yes, how many's in this group? I'll, I'll say three. Three, very good. So I'm going to write three over here. Okay. Now we have four plus three. Then I see that we need to put a sign here. Do I need to put plus? Am I adding more? Or do I need to put the equal sign to show that we have our answer coming up? Yeah. What comes next? Heck. Equal sign, yes. If you at home also said or were thinking equal sign, good job. Because now we have 4 plus 3 equals, or 4 plus 3 is. 
Now we go back, we add them together. Join both groups together to add together to see how many there are in all, okay? Yeah. So I'm not just going to add up just one group or the other group, but I'm going to count or add them all up together, okay? You ready to count with me to see how many there are in all? Yeah. Okay. Ready, yeah. set, count with me. What? One, two, three, four, five, five, six, Thirteen. seven. How many are there in all? I said thirteen. Seven. Great job. So you write seven over here. Let's go ahead and reread our problem. We said that four plus three equals seven. Yay! I'm really hoping that you at home are trying your best to reread the problem with us. It's important that we're really practicing reading our numbers, rereading what we wrote and solved, and practicing reading and saying plus and equals. You'll be using those words a lot as, as you continue on in math, okay? Great job on this addition review problem. Kaylee and I are gonna get ready. We'll come back with another problem. We're back with our next problem, okay? This problem, Kaylee and I are really going to be quiet to give you some think time to solve this problem yourself, okay? But we'll look up here and we'll get you all started. Again, we have an addition number sentence that we have to write and solve, okay? Looking here in this first line, we need to write how many tigers are in this first group. Okay, not all of them, but just this first group over here. Kaylee and I will be quiet to give you some think time to count how many tigers are over here, okay? Okay, hopefully that was enough think time. If not, pause us. How many tigers did you count? Let's go ahead and double check it. There are one, two, three tigers here. If you counted three yourself, nice job. If you didn't quite get three, that's okay. We can go back, rewatch this, and double check if we need to. I'm going to write how there are three tigers right here. Now, make sure you're doing your best to answer this at home. What sign do I need to write next to show that more tigers are being added? Do I need to write the plus or the equal sign? What do I write next? That. Yes, if you were thinking and saying plus as well, great job. So we're going to write the plus sign here. Okay. Now we have three plus. Now Kaylee and I will be quiet while you have a chance to count how many tigers are just in this group over here, okay? So that's what we need to write here. How many tigers are in this group over here? Okay, hopefully that was enough think time. If not, please pause it, okay? Let's see. Let's double check your answer. How many tigers are in this group? One, two, three. Yes, how many are there? I say we. Three. If you also counted three at home, you're doing it. Yay! So we'll write three over here. Now we have three plus three. What sign do we need to write over here? Basically to say 3 plus 3 is, what sign do we need? Do we need the plus sign or the equal sign? Good, good. The equal sign. If you're saying the equal sign at home, good job. So we'll write equals here. 3 plus 3 equals. 
Now this is where you have to join or add the groups together to find out how many tigers there are in all. So you need to count up or add up all the tigers. Kaylee and I will be quiet to give you some think time to count or add up all the tigers, okay? Okay, we're going to double check it. You can pause this if you need more time. Okay, let's double check your answer. How many tigers are there in all? Ready, set, let's add them all up. One, two, three, four, five, five six. six. How many tigers in all are there? I say six. Six, yes. So we will write six over here. <gasps> Yay! Let's go back, reread our problem. We said that three plus three equals six. Yay! If you are following along at home, just even trying your best, great job, okay? Keep it up. We're going to come back to do one more addition review problem. Thanks. We're now back with our last addition review problem for today, okay? Let's go ahead, look up here. Kaylee and I will once again give you plenty, or at least try to give you some think time to solve this on your own at home, okay? Let's look up here. We once again have our addition number sentence. We remember our first line wants to know how many is in this first group, okay? Hmm. Kaylee and I will be quiet while you count up how many counters are in this first group. Okay, hopefully that was enough think time. Let's come on back and let's count to double check how many you counted, okay? There are one, two, three, four, five, five counters in this first group. So we're going to write the number five right there. Five. Nice job if that's what you got at home. If you didn't quite get it, just make sure you're carefully counting just how many is in that first group, okay? Now, what sign do we need to write here to show that there's more counters being added or joined together? Ooh, how many? Well, not how many. What sign do we need? Yeah. Yes, if you also said the plus sign, great job. We use the plus sign to show more is being added or joined together. Okay, we have five plus. Now, Kaylee and I will give you some think time to count how many's over here in this group. How many's being added? How many's in this group? Okay, hopefully that was enough think time. If not, pause us. Keep that answer in your head. Let's count and double check how many is in this second group we're adding on. Ready? There's one, two, two three. three. How many was in this group? I would say three. Three. So I'm going to write three right over here. Awesome. So we have five plus three. 
Now what sign do I need to write to show that 5 plus 3 is or 5 plus 3 makes? Do I need the plus sign again or the equals sign? Which one? Yeah. Equal sign. Yes, if you were thinking or answering or saying that at home, yes, that is it. We need the equal sign. We have 5 plus 3 equals. Now we need to join or add both groups together. Count or add them all up to see how many there are in all. Don't just count one group. Count, add them all up together. Kaylee and I will give you some think time while you do that, okay? Okay, pause this if you need to. Keep that answer in your head. Let's double check, add up how many there are in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many are there in all? I said eight. Eight, yes. So we'll write our answer eight right over here. Ooh. Nice job. Let's reread our problem. We said that 5 plus 3 equals 8. Yay! I'm hoping you were able to just try your best, try and follow along at home, okay? You'll continue to see addition review and practice in your learning packets at home. We're going to do a few more days of addition review, and then we're going to get ready for subtraction, the next thing. Yay! But please continue to practice addition at home with your learning packets, adding things together in your house, making up your own addition number sentences even, okay? That's all we have for today's addition review lesson. Bye, everyone. Have a bye.